Hello, hello. And this week I have Schrodinger's Octopus by Viking Prime. It's been a while since I had a Viking Prime puzzle here, so excited to have this as a try. Uh, the rule set is very long. I didn't even try putting it in the box there, so I will um, I'll have it in the video description. And of course, if you go to the Logic Masters Germany or the Solve page, you'll see the rules there. But there are normal Schrodinger rules and abnormal octopus rules. So Schrodinger rules are um, instead of oops, instead of Sudoku rules where I put the digits one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Instead, I have the digits zero to nine that all need to go in every row, column, and box. So how do you do that with only nine cells? Well, in every row, every column, every box, one of these cells, say this cell, is going to be a Schrodinger cell, which contains two different cells at once. And um, so every single row, column, and box actually has 10 digits. Well, two of them are just crammed into one space. Uh, so the Schrodinger rules, octopus rules. So I'm almost 100% sure this is a pedaling pianist invention uh, where you have four lines whoops, that are going to go through the center uh, like so, where they pass through each other. And so you end up with uh, kind of eight tentacles going along. And I think in the in the normal version of this, I think why, why Viking Prime calls it abnormal is these lines have to be symmetric. So what I've drawn here wouldn't be allowed because um, because they're not symmetric. Uh, the, each line here, so for example, this line that I that I did through the diagonal um, isn't doesn't have 180 degree rotational symmetry because once it gets here, the bottom one keeps going forward, whereas this one turns and heads to the right. So these uh, th this line does not show 180 degree rotational symmetry, so it wouldn't be allowed. But in the Viking Prime puzzle I'm about to do, that is allowed. So they are allowed to go however they like. The only restriction on the lines is that they can't cross except for where they do in the center and that they're all the same length. Uh, length defined as the number of cells they visit. So you know this line is the same length as this line, even though that's not quite true. Uh, okay, so those are the, the two big rules. The octopus has four different lines and we're gonna have to figure out which line is which of these four different types. So one of them is a region sum line. One of them, um, so on a region sum line, uh, let's see if I picked one that might work. Um, so let's take this line as an example. Um, it would mean that these two digits have the same sum as these three digits, have the same sum as these four digits. Uh, for every time the line crosses a, a box border, it's gonna reset the sum and the sum is the same in every box. Um, and I'm presuming here the S cells just add up for that purpose, uh, probably for all purposes. Let me just read this. Yeah, for all constraints, the sum. So in a, in a Schrodinger cell, um, if this were a Schrodinger cell, the digits would add up, they would sum together, and you use that sum for every one of the restrictions that we're going to talk about here. So one of these lines, the region sum line, um, one is a Ren band. So values along the line form a set of consecutive non-repeating values in any order. So this could be, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine would be fine. With S cells, it could even go higher, right? This could be an S cell with a four and six together that would make 10, that would be fine. Um, so it would be Ren band. Nabner lines, values along the line form a set of non-consecutive, non-repeating values in any order. For example, if a cell value of three appears on the line, then values of two and four cannot, right? So uh, I wonder how long we can make a Nabner line with Schrodinger cells. I haven't thought about that before, but basically um, the, the numbers are going to have to increase by at least, if you, if you sort the numbers on a Nabner line, uh, the number has to go up by at least two for every, um, for every number there on the line. And then German whispers adjacent digits differ by at least five. That's a little simpler. Um, let's get rid of all these lines I drew. And then we have crop key rules. So along a white dot, digits are consecutive. Uh, and along a black dot, they have a two to one ratio. I think that's it. So let's see how this goes. Um, okay. So there's a lot of dots. Uh, and it's a lot of dots where I can only have one Schrodinger cell. So I must have a Schrodinger cell here, right? So um, I assume this, oh, sorry. I, I'm just reading the rules again, make sure there's not a circle rule or something making this a one. Um, 
yeah, I think the, I think the circle is just the octopus circle. So I guess I could start, I'm gonna draw different colored lines so that I have an idea of how, what's what. Although the colors are gonna confuse me because I'm gonna assume, I know I'm gonna assume like green is German whispers or something. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get enough colors that aren't, every color is like a normal thing. So just get one of these gray, okay. Hopefully that won't confuse me too much. Um, and then, okay, back to this. There's no way this can't have a Schrodinger cell because that would mean I'm only using the digits zero to nine. Zero couldn't be on here because I can't have two zeros. Actually, maybe that's a better place to start. Well, no, I, I almost said zero can't be on here, but it could be in a Schrodinger cell, except that, so I think this actually is right. The Schrodinger cell, has to be not um, one, two, four, or eight. All right, so four of these are gonna be one, two, four, and eight, because four of these are not Schrodinger cells. I don't know, oh, is that true? Because it could it be in the middle? Uh, I think one of these are gonna have to be a Schrodinger cell. So what would happen if say this, so let's go back up. One of these is definitely a Schrodinger cell, because if not, these are all the digits zero to nine. There's no way to get five digits zero to nine that all keep doubling each other up to one, two, four, eight, 16, can't happen. So, um, and in fact, the smallest this could be is one, the largest it can be is uh, 17. So I can't do two, four, eight, because then I can't like go back. Oh, I almost said I can't go back to the value. I can't do like one, two, one, two, four. And that is true, although it's a little harder than just saying you can't do it. Um, in order for, in order to go back, when I go back, I have to be a Schrodinger cell. But then from there, unless it was the end, oh, so maybe it doesn't have to be one to 16. Um, sorry, I'm a bit confused about how to explain this because I have a lot of thoughts in my mind I want. So basically, there's definitely a Schrodinger cell here. So these are not, I'm gonna mark green as not Schrodinger. And then, Could this be the Schrodinger cell? I don't think so. This definitely can't be because the, I mean, how do I, how can I prove this to myself? Like it just intuitively makes sense to me that has to be the end, but what's the actual logic here? Um, suppose this, suppose, let's start in the middle. Suppose this were a Schrodinger cell, which we'll do purple. Uh, no, we'll do blue. Ooh, actually I'm gonna change these to blue and then I'll use red. Schrodinger cell. Um, suppose that were the Schrodinger cell. That would mean these are not. Then what are these? What are these digits? Right. These are all different. They all have to be different digits. Um, so what would this be? I mean, these would have to be different from each other. So this has to be in the middle of these two. So again, we're in the situation of one, two, four, eight, um, sixteen, which can't work. And you might think, well, can you do one, two, four? We certainly can't do two, we could do eight. But can we do four? Oh, we could do that. Except that this would be one, three, but um, which is already used. One, two, hold on. Now I'm not now I'm not convinced. One, two, four, eight, four. Well, these are both four. This is a real four, so this can't be zero, four. And it can't be one, three, because that's one. Okay, it's a little more complicated than I thought, but I don't think this is possible. Um right, because Pick one of these and start. It's either going up or down. Um, how can I, this is so hard to make thorough. If this is the lowest digit, or it's not, let's just say it's a digit. And let's say it goes up. Then let's say it goes up again. Here I can't go down because these are the same. So that's going to be up again. So I've gone up three times. Here, I can't go up again because then I've gone up so many times that I can't have, I can't be under nine. So that doesn't work. So it's, I can't do all ups. I could do up, down. I'm oh, sorry, I could do up, 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 down. That's the first thing to check. If I try that, then uh, these will be the same. But then these still have 
a factor of eight between them. So the only way that works is with one and eight. And then these are both four. This one's a real four, this one's a Schrodinger four, but I can't make a Schrodinger cell with either zero four, because four are used, or one three, because one's used. So that doesn't work. I could do up, down, down, up. Up, down, down, up. down, so these are the same, down, up, then all three of these are the same, that doesn't work either. So and so none of those work. So there's no way to do ups and downs. Start, starting with an up, there's no way to do it. And by symmetry, starting with a down isn't gonna work either. So this doesn't work. Okay, I, I, I feel like that's good enough. That's not Schrodinger cell. I think here, it's, it's gonna be the same problem, right? If that's a Schrodinger cell, how does this work? But now I have to, now I have to be careful about which side I start from because they could be different. Um, and whether I do up or down. Oh, okay, so up, 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 down. So when I go through the Schrodinger cell, I have to go the same direction, either up twice or down twice, because let's start from here. I think go up twice or down twice because it's the only thing that works. So let's say go up twice. And this is either one or two, and this is four or eight. And this is two or four. This is one, two, four. I can't go up, down, because these would be the same. I can't go down, down, because then these are the same. So sorry, this is ignoring the one, two, four thing. It's just, suppose I go up, up. Then what are these two? I can't go up, up, because then that's up too many times. This is going to be more than nine. I can't go down, down. These are the same. I can't go down, up, or up, down, because then these are the same. So up, up doesn't work. Down, down, I think that is symmetric. Down, down doesn't work. Because if I do down, down, uh, what do I do? What do I do here? I can't do different because then these are the same. I can't do both down because then this is too big. I can't do both up because then these are the same. So yeah, this doesn't work either. And by symmetry, that's not gonna work. So one of these is my Schrodinger cell. Okay, feel pretty good about that. And the Schrodinger cell is gonna be the large. I don't think I can start with two, right? If I start the low did it with two, it'd be two, four, eight, sixteen, or it's already too big. And three is just a bigger result. Because it all I can't ever go. If this is the Schrodinger cell, I can't go. Okay, let's say this is the Schrodinger cell. I can't do up, up, down. Like once I go up, I can't go down at any point because I'm gonna reuse a digit. So once I go up from the non-Schrodinger cell, it's gonna keep going up. So the Schrodinger cell is gonna be 16. So one of these is a seven, nine pair. And the other one is a two, four, eight. So that's a four, I get a digit. That's a four. This is two and eight. One of these is one, and the other one is seven, nine. That leaves here, zero, three, six, uh, five. Zero, three, five, six. Oh, uh, that really should not have been that hard, but it was, that's a lot, a lot of things to really think carefully about. So one of these is one, which will have to go with two. And the other one is 16, which will have to go with eight. And none of these are Schrodinger cells, importantly. So this is a two, eight pair. This probably can't be a two. Let's think about these six cages for a second. There's a lot of them. Certainly they can't all be one, two, three, because then I would have one, two, three. Um, and they don't have to be. Oh, hold on. This can't be zero. Because then these would all be zero. That's just not going to work. Can it be five? No, I could have a 10 here, but then I couldn't have 20 or another five. So this can't be five. So if this is three, we could do... 6, 12, we could do 6, 3 with the Schrodinger 3. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to even mark for that. If I go, but I need to have a Schrodinger cell here. So actually that is what I'm gonna mark. One of those is Schrodinger, so those aren't. And these aren't. Which means this is three or five, and I wonder if it can't be three, but let's say this were three, and this is six. If 
this is three, this is six. And then what do I do? Actually, can this be six at all? Yeah, it can be six if I can use three, but if this is three and there's then this is six and there's no three available, what do I do? This would have to be a Schrodinger cell. So it's either three or 12 in Schrodinger in the, as a Schrodinger cell. This would not be a Schrodinger cell. It would be either three or six, which are used. So this is not three. Oops. This is five. And then, how does this work? Okay, if this is six, we probably have, this couldn't be then 12, because I'd have to be a Schrodinger cell, and I'd have to go back to six, which is used. So if it's six, this is three, which will have to go back to six, which will be a Schrodinger cell. So this would be the Schrodinger cell if this is six. If this is three, it would have to go to six, because it can't go to 1.5. And then it would go to either three or 12. Either one has to be a Schrodinger cell. So actually, this is not the Schrodinger. This is. So I actually know where that is. So these are not. Uh, five, I guess. And then, so then this is three, six. So this is zero. I get a zero. I get another digit. And then five is here for sure in one of these. Um, this is a three, five, six trip. I mean, I have, yeah, I have essentially, I mean, oh, I can probably, I can probably do something here. So nine, eight, seven are taken. One of these is going to be three, four, and one of these is going to be five, six. Okay. Not, not quite so earth shattering, but something. Uh, maybe these could just be zero, though. So six seems really restrictive in three digits, but with zero, it actually isn't. I mean, I could have zero, one, five. Um, so I could have digits up to five in any of these. But one of these is a two. Well, that's still, I thought it was five. I thought zero to five was five digits, but it's six digits. Um, and this is actually 27, not six, which I just noticed. So that, mm, okay. These are digits zero to four. So these, this is also a digit. Oh, it's values. Well, I feel like I can still mark that, but. I'm not going to. Well, I am going to mark that because the value less than four is going to use digits less than four. So that's fine. Um, that could be a five, zero, one, two. See, this is, uh, this one's even a bit more restricted, right? Because they have a few digits they can't use. Hmm. Okay. So this is either three or six or 12. If it's three, it's one, two. It can't be six. Ah, it can't be six. Ah, so this is three, six, I think. Because if this is six, this couldn't be the Schrodinger cell because then this would have to be six again. So that wouldn't work. So this is would be six, three. And this, if this is six, this can't be 1.5 or 24 because they're outside the bounds of what a Schrodinger cell can achieve. So this, and this also can't be six in a Schrodinger cell because of the digits that are used. Um, basically the only digits less than, left, less than six that I have left are one, two, that's it. So I can't use those to make a, a six. So this is actually three, six. And then now this can't be 12 because 12 would need a three or four or a five in it, which it doesn't have. So it's three as well. Uh, and that's Schrodinger cell. So what do I have left? Um, seven, eight, nine. Like that, even though it doesn't look like it's gonna go anywhere anytime soon, I will mark that. Okay, it's gotta be these cages, right? Oh no, I haven't thought about these octopus lines at all. Um, Okay, what are the octopus line types? I got Renban, Nabner, uh, Region Sum, and German Whisper. Um, oh, I don't think I mentioned this when I was seeing the rules. The lines have to go to the edge of the grid. 
Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there has to be at least nine. There has to be at least nine digits on each line. And I think with the Navner, that's the most we can do, right? So the best we can do with the Navner would be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. I can't do 18. Yeah, so nine. So these are going to be nine digit long lines. Now, the problem is the Navner has one degree of freedom in the sense that I can, it definitely has a zero on it. it uh, so, um, so this isn't Navner, actually, which is nice. Uh, and this isn't Navner because it has a one on it. The Navner is going to be one of the diagonals. And whichever one, it, whichever one gets the six is going to be the Navner. So, that's, so if I had the, the problem with the five here is, oh, no, it could be five. It could be two five. No, that's, that's right. So I was thinking there's, there's one degree of freedom with the Navner, meaning we're going to start with even digits. And we can go, we could do all even digits up to 16. But at some point, I can leave there's basically one extra gap place where I have I have to cover 16 digits at a minimum with the Navner, but I have 17 digits of range, right? Because the the um, the Schrodinger cells can get to 17 if they're an eight-nine pair. So at some point I can flip from even to odd by having a, a size two gap instead of a size one gap or a size three gap instead of a size two gap. So I go. 0, 2, 4, 6, 9 instead of 8, for example. But then once I get to odd, if I ever do, I've got to stay odd and go 2 up forever uh, to make that work. So um, so how does that work? Oh, um, I, so I think that's true. That's all true. I had another thought, which is, what is this type of line? Because it's not a ren band. The ren band being nine digits long is going to be the digit zero to eight. Not not digits, the value zero to eight. It could have a Schrodinger cell on there. But it's going to be zero to eight, because it has a zero on it for sure. Um, so this is not the ren band, because it has a 16 on it. Uh, it could be the region sum. It can't be the German whisper, because it has a one on it. And it can't be the Nabner because it has a one on it. So actually it is the region. Oh my goodness. So the region sum, this black is region. So I'm going to change that to blue. I'm going to use my stereotypical color. Oh, but now the blue color in the background is going to be. Um, let's change that to, what do I change that to? Let's change that to, that's going to be, let's do purple. Oh, it's kind of bright. Do I have a lighter purple? That might be better. Okay, and then I'll change the reds to, um, I really want something on the same palette, but I think alas, it's not going to happen. Okay, that's fine. I don't put in showing ourselves too often. Uh, so the, the regions are seventeen. Is that useful? I don't know. So now, um, this isn't German Whisper, and it's not Nabner. So this is the Ren Ban. Okay, yeah, we're we're getting somewhere now, I think. One of these is the German Whisper, which will have the eight on it, because it can't have a two. The other one will be a Nabner, which will have the two on it. The five and six are actually still indetermined, interestingly. Okay. Um Yeah, I don't I don't know if I can do more with that. So almost said that means the region sum lines have to stay in their box, but you can actually you could actually do something like this and have 17 on an 8 9 shorting or cell. And that would be okay. Which is uh this is a lot. Okay. Hmm. I guess I can put the same marking here. I did over there. So what what is going on here? These one, two, three, these six cells. Zero, one, zero, one, two, three. Yeah, it's only seven. These these have a minimum of seven, which is not very um okay. 
is there any way there's a Schrodinger cell up here? Because now, oh, there is. I could have zero, one, two, three, four. Not like that, because I couldn't put three, four in there, but I could have the digits, the digits zero to four here, and then zero, one here would only be 11. So there's so much room to play with here. It seems like there shouldn't be because there's six key the Schrodinger cells mess everything up. Okay. Um, well, there's definitely a Schrodinger cell in here because if there weren't, it could only be 987, which is only 24. So the problem is that it's in three different, three different boxes, two different rows, two different columns. It doesn't really help me. I mean, I'm sure it will eventually, but there, there is a Schrodinger cell in here somewhere. These are the same digit, which I had not thought about earlier. And these are the same digit, which are going to repeat over here. OK. Um, what do I do next? What are these? One of these is a German Whisper, and one of these is a Navner. What about the Ren Ban? Can I extend the Ren Ban at all? Like they probably just go across this. Um, I'm actually, I'm rereading the killer cage clue, the rules, and it says digits within a cage must sum to the number in the top left corner and must not repeat. And I wonder if that means Schrodinger digits can't repeat either. I don't think it's going to matter, but it is something to think about. Um, okay, what is my next step? What, what do I know? I have the symmetry, which is at some point going to break. And I have these cages. And I've, I mean, there's no way that's going to do anything yet, or this. So what? It's got to be these cages, but I don't see how I can restrict these cages at all uh, any more than I already have. I mean, here, I really want to say this can't be a two, but I think it can be. If this were a two, These could be 0, 1, 3, 4, 0, 1. It's only 9. Huh. OK. I don't think there are any other restrictions on what can go in Schrodinger cells, right? I should admit, I didn't say this, but uh, Viking Prime insists that instead of Schrodinger cells, we should call them Squidinger cells, Squidinger cells. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to I'll try to say Squidinger cells instead of my normal habit. Uh, okay. Well, one thing, okay, one thing to know about the Nabner lines is they're going to use a lot of my Squidinger cells. Right, so they're going to use 10, 12, 14, 16. They're going to use at least four of them. Um, and, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and I see. So th they're going to use all of them in, um, could this get up here? I think it could. Ah. Uh. I was thinking that this had to go to these two boxes, or oh, or these two boxes. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that's annoying. Um, so, but in the direction they go, so this one, for example, can't go in here. But it could go like this. Uh, I could do that. I don't even know that's the Nabner. This could be the Nabner. But whichever one is the Nabner is going to run up against this, and they're going to use either these two boxes or these two boxes and use up the Schrodinger cells there. If it's here, it's going to use these two or these two. Um, and this one's going to use like two of these. I mean, could this, I think this could even get all the way over here. 
which would be really restrictive, but it's possible. Um, and then these would both be Schrodinger cells, Schrodinger cells. Um, yeah, and then this could get it from these two or something. That's... I feel like there's something there, but I can't quite see it. Um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm pretty stuck about where to look next. So is it then that the region sum lines, because these can't cross? Hmm. No, I think so. Like, here's an example. I was thinking, could something like this be possible where the region sum line takes a 17 up here? And I was thinking that might conflict with some Napper's. It certainly would conflict with this gray line being the Napper line. But if I look at this red line, I think that would be fine to do something like this. Um, let's see, that could be four. Uh, or it doesn't even have to do that. I could do this. No, yeah, I could do, ooh, could it do that? Uh, I think it could. Uh, I mean, not because of, couldn't because of that. But, I mean, that's arbitrary. I could do this, right? And then that would be fine. The thing to note, but I, don't, I don't know if I've said this out loud yet, but each line has to kind of go directly to the grid. It can never go away from the edge of the grid um, because I only have nine cells, which means I've got to go from the center. To, I, I, I need five cells to get to an edge. So I, I can't ever turn back. But... Uh, like this could be, because the Na the Navner line would have a two because the German whisper gets the eight. So this could be four and, oh, no, that does, oh, 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 that's it. Okay. Ooh. No, I almost had a thought, but it's not clear. I almost thought the red couldn't be Navner because wherever it goes here, because it is going to go to one of, ooh, no, I can't, it couldn't go. So if red were Nabner, it couldn't go here because five would conflict whatever this digit is, whatever is in R4C6. So this digit, if it were the Nabner, would go into one of these, which would mean it would have to take the four because this is five, six, so it can take a five and zero and two would be taken. Because um, then remember the Nabner is the two and the German whisper has the eight. So this, almost can't go here, except that it could take a four, and make this a six. And then I thought, well, then there's no, because this isn't going to be a Schrodinger cell in that case, or it's, it's not, um, it's not one of the two Schrodinger cells it needs. Oh, but that's, uh, that's actually true of all of these. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that is right. That is the way to think about it. Okay. This line, same problem, right? Oh, but could it do that? Ah, uh, now I'm now I'm second guessing myself. Also, that blue line doesn't necessarily go here. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, is this possible? That might be possible. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, I thought the. Mm. Okay, so the red line. If it's the Navner line, I either extend into a cage on each side, a six cage, or I can't extend to the five because it'll conflict with this, or it extends into this two eight. Oh, but those are the same digit. No, 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 I can't do that. That's the same digit. Um, but this one's not. So this is possible. What's the other line? Uh, purple's Ren band, German Whisper. Um, yeah, this could go into a zero up here, and this could obviously do whatever. Ugh. I feel like, like, how would this possibly work? If it does this, that would be a four. 
meaning these sum to 2, so they would have to be 0, 2. This would be 3 or 5. It would be 3. Well, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be value 5 with a 3, 2 or something. Um, all right, this would be 2. This would be 8. This would be 4, so this would be 6. 5 would have to go to a 0. And then this would have to, each of these have to take two more. I don't see what's wrong with like that. That seems totally fine. Let's see, these would all be shorting ourselves. I mean, this is just a example. So I mean, I could do anywhere. So I don't know what looking at these specifically is going to help with. Um, but I will try to see if it helps me figure out. No. Hmm. It's so, it's so close. Um, well, maybe this can't be the German Whisper for the same reason. Hold on, what happens if this, because actually that would be really nice if they were restricted. I would, I would know how this goes and I would know a lot then. Um, what happens if this is the German Whisper? This is an eight, So coming down here. It couldn't go up because that's also eight. It couldn't go to five. So it'd have to go in here, but that to any one of these three cells, which would be fine. But what would this cell do? It couldn't go here. Um, it would just go to zero. Or one, I guess. But that seems okay too. Uh, um, and I can't even draw, okay, I can't draw anything. They don't know which is okay. What maybe you should think about the gray line instead. What happens if the gray line is the napkin line? This can go up. This is two. This is eight. I could do that. And this could be a huge number. This could be 17. This feels like this feels like the right thing to think about, but I can't quite turn the crank enough. I can't quite turn the crank enough to figure out what is the next step. Just reading the rules again and see, because often I'll forget a rule. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see any rules that are going to help me here. I just have to use my brain better. Okay. Well, this, okay, this line, whether it's a German whisper or a Nabner, I mean, I could just think of these as like whisper two lines for a second because they are both whisper two lines. Um, at least. So this is not going to go to the left. And this is not going to go up here. So this goes to one of these four spots. And this goes to one of these four spots. Um, so I, I'm, I'm really just struggling, um, for how to think about this problem. One of, mm, 
Now that these go in here, that doesn't mean pink does. So maybe I should think about the ren ban. Where does the ren ban go? The ren ban needs one, two, five, six, seven, eight. So the ren ban doesn't touch this because that's three. I mean, there's just no, there's no restriction on this run ban. It could go anywhere. Um, so maybe these both go. And, uh, no, this doesn't even help. I was going to say one of these has to be a four, but that's just wrong. The German Whisper line can go in here. The Namda line could go down, pick up an eight. Well, that does, here, that does force this line into some pretty, so if this is red, if red goes like this, for any reason, then blue can only do that. And now in its in its box it visits, it has to go, has to sum to 17, so it can't go up. So it's gotta go to one of these places. But that's fine. <laughs> Look, I guess it can't go across because even at 11 and four, that is not enough. Okay. It almost as restricted, but it is not restricted. In fact, at least that I can tell. Right, the green line does not do that. We know that. felt so good that this can't go into the cage. If it's a Navner, it can't go into the cage twice. Okay, so let's, if the red line is a Navner, it does this. And it goes into one of these cells. And then this picks up. Wait, 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 hold on. No, 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 I have that backwards. Sorry, sorry. It does this. And this one goes over. It's like, does, isn't that a conflict? And yes, it is a conflict, which is why it isn't the way it goes. It would go like this. This, this would be eight. Um, so this would be a one. This would be my 16. I don't think that would really matter, um, except that these would all then be non Rodinger cells. This would have to pick up a, so actually this couldn't go this way. This would have to pick up a four in one of these cells, which seems possible. One is before, the other one would be two with zero. And then these would not be Schrodinger cells. So I have to pick up the other two Schrodinger cells, but I mean, I could do this. These would be not Schrodinger. I could do this. Those two could be Schrodinger cells. Oh, 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 ah, I see it. I see it. That does break. Okay, okay, okay. Feels it's a little bifurcating, but I think I think it's okay. So this can't be okay. This cannot be the Navner. If the red line is the Navner, what happens? This line. If this is the Nabner, then the German Whisper needs the eight. So this is the two, right? So we get this set up. Uh, this becomes the, I'm not even gonna mark that because it doesn't matter. Um, this can't go to six. This can't go to two or five. So this has to go somewhere down here. I don't know where, but somewhere down there to get a four. Um, Oh, it's actually easier than that. That breaks the cell. I think Sven, Sven showed me that. Okay, 
that's much easier. Uh, yeah. Wow. That's funny. Uh, so well, I'll tell you, I'll show you what I saw because it leads to the same result. And I feel a little less bad about relying on Sven's pencil, uh, pencil checking to see it, which is that if, if we do this, now the problem is this is also the Navner. It can't go into this cage and get a four. So it's got to go down here to get an eight. But now every single digit that these visit have to be Schrodinger cells that are 10 plus. So how is that possibly going to work? So this line needs to pick up two more. Oh, actually, that does that might work. I think in my head I thought these were both different lines. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. My, what I saw is silly. So only by putting it in and seeing. Okay, I, I am going to use it because I think that's the intention. Um, but I don't feel good about it. Uh, so if this is the Navner, what happens? This has to be the two because the Navner takes the two. So the Navner takes the two and so can't go to itself. It would have to. And it, um, so it either goes to four down here or to five, and it can't go to five because that would conflict with this. So it has to take a four in one of these cells. But this, is, but these two become twos. So if there's a four down here, how do I make six without a two? Right, I have zero, one, and three as options. There's no way to get two out of that, or, or higher, I guess, but it just isn't gonna work. So red is not the Navner. Wow, red is, what's left? Um, German Whisper. And this gray line now is my Navner line. Okay. And how can I do? So, I, so let's just fill these in. Two, eight. This is seven, nine. This, oops, uh, is one. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to change colors to here. Okay. Now, these are not Schrodinger cells. And now I have this Nabner line. Uh, okay, so now this is eight. This is, oops, this is eight. This is two. Um, well, this digit suddenly is quite restricted. Three, four. Can't be four because I can't get a two anywhere. Uh, that's neat. That might be useful in a bit. Um, this cell can't go over here. I guess it could take an eight or it could take a four. Either one would be okay. This green cell can't go over to either of those because they're too close to it. So this is gonna go into the cage and get either a zero or a one. This is gonna go, it might go to eight, but it might not. Uh, but this is a six either way, actually, because if this goes down to get a four, it the next it can't use a five, so it's got to take a six. Um, if this goes to eight, I also can't have a five because that would mean I did zero, two, five, eight, and I skipped a number twice, right? You know, I, I used a difference of three instead of a difference of two twice, which I can't do because I only have one degree of freedom there. So this Nabner line is six either way. Now we're really restricted here, and five is going to take a zero in here. Um, but I could still, and I, I was going to, I could have a Schrodinger cell here and have it be zero, one, two, three, except that two is completely gone from this. So there's no Schrodinger cell in here and there's no two in here. So these, this is zero, one, five somehow. This is zero. This is one. This is five. And the green line goes to zero. That is cool. I really, that is it's very fair. It's not that hard. Um, like a calm before a storm, maybe. Uh, can this be one, two, three? This would be two, one, three. I think that's okay. Um, okay, now how does this keep going? This has to get a big cell, so it can't go over. It's going to go take one of those. I've got to go straight up somehow. So it's something like this or this. Those are my green options.
Uh, and then what? Two can't go to five or two. So two's gonna go in this cage somewhere. Um, which is not so helpful. Eight's also gonna go in this cage. Does everything go in its cage? I think it does. I think everything has to go into its cage. Because this Navner can't take eight or six. Oh no, it could take eight. Yeah, bullet, that could take eight. Um, okay, so this digit that it visits is high, and this digit that it visits, it can't be seven, eight, or nine. So actually this, uh, because then what could I put here that is both five away from seven, eight, nine, and zero? There's no digit. It has to be four or less, which won't be, because it's not a Schrodinger cell. So we've limited a little bit. Uh, this cell could be three or four, and this could be eight or nine, so I could still go up. But also, these could be Schrodinger cells, so these actually could be huge cells. Okay, zero, two, four, seven, eight, nine. Eight's not here. Eight is one of the, it, it could be in a Schrodinger cell, but eight is definitely in one of those. And the same thing, except two is here. So it's a little less, a little less useful, maybe. Um, five, zero, one, two still works, I think. Is it all be none S cells? Okay. Okay, so what goes in this 27? There's no ones or twos or fives. Actually, that might be important because can I do it without nine? Eight, seven, six is 21. No, it's not big enough. So I need a nine in there. Can I do that an eight and no five? Then it would be nine, seven, six, four, which would be 26. So now that doesn't work either. So I need a nine and an eight. So there's definitely eight in one of those two cells because it can't be here. There's an eight, a nine, and then either, what about the 17, a 10? Um, either seven, three, or four, six. But I think either of those work. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. What am I getting rid of there? I think nothing. Because this is one, two, five are gone. So these are the, yeah. I mean, at least I know there's a nine and an eight in here. So this is an eight in here, one of these spots. If the eight were in there, that would be pretty huge. But it seems totally plausible. This digit is at least six because it can't be five. So then if it goes up here, it could be, again, it could be a huge Schrodinger cell. Um, I, okay. If this goes in here, we're again with four, zero, two. How'd that work? Zero would be here. So this can't go here because it can't have a zero here. So I'm gonna draw where, gold can go. Can't go over. Um, if it goes up, this becomes zero, two, four. Zero would take zero out of contention here, but this, this could be one, two, three, I think. I mean, it also could be, oh no, yeah, if there were, this could be zero as well. Um, this could even be a one, two, three shorting or so, I think. Even this one, three, or the two. Uh, okay, let's not think about that. Um, I don't know. This gets, this is probably a big cell, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, this could, it'd be really funny. It would be a, it'd be a very Viking Prime move, I think, to put, to have this reach a four in here and eight down here and then still get my two huge Schrodinger cells. 
somehow. Um, okay, what is what about this region sum line? The region sum line goes into here, and then it's got to stay in here because if it gets if it goes straight over, um, it, it can't get out, and if it goes up, it's not big enough yet to leave. So this is going to take two lines in here. Let's try and fucking some of that. It'd be something like this. But then I could go, I'm just going to do the extremes. Maybe I'll just, well, I'll leave it because I've already drawn it. But it's going to be something like this, like this flower that's blooming. Uh, and the same thing is true over here. No, that's not true. This could go down. This could be 17 by itself as a Schrodinger cell and then keep going. I wonder if this crop key is telling me something I'm not seeing. Um, This Ren ban, uh, this Ren ban is a little bit restricted. It only has two places that can go because this went up. Uh, and if it goes over here, it couldn't be zero, three, four, or five. So if it goes over here, it'd be one or two. And then it couldn't go over here. Uh, feels like there's almost something there, but not quite. Goes over, we're at one or two. We need the other one or two. Oh, which can't be here. Oh, oh, but I can get one or two down here. I was gonna say, where, where does Rem I getting one or two? And the answer is probably down here. Although it could get, um... oh, wait, wait, wait. This is not one or two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If this goes over, ah, I think this can't go over. Because if this goes over, it can't be, this is three or four. All right, that's this has to be less than five. Five, zero, one, and two, it sees. So this is three or four. Three or four are in the run band, so this can't go over here. So the pink line goes up and takes a six. And then it's either gonna go, it's gonna go left or right. I really hope it goes right. Um but now it's found five. Sorry, six. Can I do something? That was that this is actually huge. This can't be four anymore. Um, if this is four, we get zero, two. If it's three, and specifically it's zero, two. So if it's four, it's zero, two. If it's three, you get up to three. It could be zero, one, two, with a Schrodinger cell here as a zero, two. Uh, or it would be... One, two, is that what, would have to be that. I think, I think that's exhaustive. And this, either of these could be a Schrodinger cell with a three. Wow. Um, hold on, if, there, if this is a Schrodinger cell with a zero, one, two, what does that mean for these? These would both be from three plus, which would not work. So like, there is no Schrodinger cell here, which means we're either in a situation that's four, zero, two, or three, one, two. Either way, the two is used though. Um, and that, but that means this can't go over anymore. This either goes up to the, a four or it goes over to an eight. If this goes over to an eight, that really limits this. Hmm. One and two are both in here. Well, what can these cells be? One of the Schrodinger cells. So you have to put four digits here. It can be one of seven, eight, nine, and then 
three, four, six. Oh, that's interesting. So these two digits, whatever they are, I'm gonna mark these as this deeper purple. Those two digits are those two digits. So this cannot be the end of, so, so because these digits have to take three, four, and six, because three, four, and six, um, well, so these, these five cells have six digits, which are three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And four, because these are not Schrodinger cells, four of them have to go here. And only one of them can be from seven, eight, nine. So the other two have to go up here and they're these two cells, whatever they are. Another way of saying that is just these digits are definitely over here. They've got to be over here, maybe that's easier. Which means this, if this is, because it's not possibly a Schrodinger cell, if this is on the green line, it would have to be low because these would be high. Whichever one this visits is high. So this is not part of the green line because it's high because it's high. Um, so I'll just put here, these are seven, eight, nine. Ah, so then now I actually know these digits. These are three, four, five. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Um, so these have three, four, six, and one of seven, eight, nine. And then these digits, I should know these digits too. These are zero, one, two. Okay. If this is two, what does that mean? It means these sum to four. It could be four, zero, or one, three. Anyway, it's not really, not really so helpful. This is two with either one or zero. Mm. This could go this way. If it goes, I want this to go this way because it makes it a five immediately. And then, oh, I almost said I had to go here, but it doesn't, I could pick up back here. In fact, this could go seven, eight. And then this could be five, one, two. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot to think about. There's definitely a lot to think about here. And this can do a wide extension. Like these are all possible red band cells. Okay, if this goes over, yeah, it really could do anything. Okay. Um, if this goes over to the right, there's no way to get one and two up here, but I can get one and two down here. Like this could very easily be five, one, two. Okay, so I, I don't, the, the red man is not the right place to look. I think it's this Nabner line. So eight is now used. I need a four somewhere. Uh, no, sorry, eight is not used. That's wrong. Um, that's a possible line. I should really use a different color for possible lines, but I'm too deep in. Okay, but I do need a four because I have two and six. So I need a four. It could be here. It could be in here even. I was, I thought, I'm like, I mean, I don't know that's what's gonna happen, but I, I feel like that's a very, I think it's funny. <laughs> so I hope that's what happens. Um, how far are an hour in? Okay. How would this work? Eight something. And then something that adds to nine with this. That seems perfectly reasonable. Six, three, for example. Okay, this six gate. Is there any way this is a Schrodinger? Ah, is there any way this is a Schrodinger cell? So then these become zero, one, two, three. I would need either two or zero, one. That doesn't work. So these are not Schrodinger either. Let me just make sure. I, I think that's I think that's clear, but let me just. If this if there's a Schrodinger cell in here, I have four digits summing to six. They have to be zero, one, two, three. Three of the digits are here. 
which means I could use three. I, I couldn't use two, so two would be here, and then zero or one would have to be here, which conflicted with this. Yes, that's right. So those are not Schrodinger cells. Probably is this one. Uh, all right, because this is my German whisper. So wherever this goes is low. The next one has to be high. So it can't go down here. It could go over here. It can't go over here. It could go, could go here even. Wherever it goes here is either low or a high Schrodinger. We're probably going to figure out for some reason that, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to predict. Okay. What do I know about this cell? Not much. It's high or, I mean, it's, it's three plus. And I do, it does see a bunch of digits, but not that many. Three, six, seven, nine. Doesn't feel worth marking. Um, maybe it is this region sum line. What does this region sum line do? I don't know. There's no, I could I could do seventeen, and then big stuff. How am I ever going to restrict this region sum line in a meaningful way? It really feels like there's not enough clues. But I'm sure there is. Plenty of people have solved this. Um, okay, what are these digits? I could have zero or one, but not both. Five would have to be zero, one. It'd have to be zero, one, two, because it's going to be zero, one, one. So, and it can't have, it can't not have a zero or one because then there would be, that's the reason this couldn't be a Schrodinger cell. So zero or one is on this. If I also have zero or one here, that makes this a five and this is a zero or one. If this is a zero or one, this has to be then a two. Hold on. No, sorry. If this is, ugh. if these are both zero, if this is a zero or one, it's the one, because it can't be, no, it could be zero, one, two. Sorry, this is a lot to think about. Let me, I'm having trouble talking and thinking at the same time. Um, wait, can this be five? I feel like it could be. Maybe it's gonna have to be five. Could this be three? How do I make these sum to three? Zero, three. No, no, because it's gonna be three then. If this is three, this can be three or four. It'd be zero or one. Three, one, two. Ah, that doesn't work. Three, oh no, it does work because zero. Three, zero, one, two works. Wow. Three, one, zero would make this two, one. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, it makes this zero, two. Yeah, it makes that zero, two. Zero, two, four. Okay, what's. Maybe I can get rid of this. If I can get rid of this eight, then I get four zero two. That would do a lot here. Take rid of the zero. Uh, I wouldn't quite finish it, but it would do a bunch. One sixteen seventeen. I'm just. I'm thinking about all the possible. Way this could go. If 
So this is four. Maybe it can't, maybe this can't be four. All right, why couldn't this be four? Then we have zero, two, four, six. This can go to either of those. So if it goes up, it would have to go over here. And that would have to be eight, actually. Ah, ah, yes, this is eight. Perfect. Okay, this can't go up. Because if this goes up, where does it go then? It can't go to three, because three is next to two. It can't go to three, four, or five, because that's next to four. It can't go here, because if it does go there, we've used zero, two, four, six. It would have to be eight, but that's eight. So this does not go up. Wow, this goes down. And, that, and since blue can't cross it, that gets rid of all this possibility. Wow. Uh, and now I am going to finish drawing these. Yeah, that's it. Wow, that is amazing. Um, and now I'm more convinced than ever this is going to be a four. Uh, hold on, this is going to get a four over here. Okay, so I, so I, I do need a four somewhere. Um, hold on, can this be a shorting or so? Could this be a shorting rate nine? Then this would have to be a shorting rate nine, which doesn't work. Because, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Look, that doesn't work. If this goes down, then um, this would have to be, because it's a new box for the reason some line, this would have to be 17, which is an 8, 9, shorting or so. These digits are 8, 9, and 2 digits that send to 10. But if this is an 8, 9, shorting or so, 8 and 9 don't appear here, they have to appear here, but 8 sees this. So this is not an 8, 9, shorting or so as part of this region sum line. So this region sum line is this cell plus one of these plus one of these sums to 17. Which feels like it should be somewhat helpful, uh, but is in fact not helpful. Maybe I can start whittling things down. Like if this is zero, if this is zero, I need a Schrodinger cell because eight is used up. So I couldn't get eight, nine in the box. So one of these would have to be a Schrodinger cell if this is zero. So I need three digits without eight that sum to six, 17, but that's pretty easy to do. You know, three, five, nine would be great. I guess I can't have three, five. Well, no, I could, yeah, because this could, yeah, this could be zero, three, and a five, nine pair. Um, okay. I certainly don't need a Schrodinger cell if this is, this could be one, seven, nine even. Uh, could this actually, maybe this can't go up here. If this goes up, the most it could be is nine because, uh, but it, yeah, so this could be a nine here that could work. Um, or if it's a Schrodinger cell, it definitely could work. I, I was thinking this would be too small, but uh, Schrodinger cells, I mean, it, it just barely works anyway because I could do five, three, nine. But this would have to be a nine, because if it's seven, the most this could be is nine, which is 16. But this could also be a shorting or so, which is just huge. So, okay. So now, now what? Oh, could I have, oh no. Could I have two shorting or cells here? Oh. did not think of this. Oh, is that gonna invalidate everything I did? Uh, oh. There's no reason I couldn't have two shorting cells here, so I don't need nine and eight. Oh, that's annoying. Um, maybe that can't work because of the Nabner. Hold on. If these are both Schrodinger cells, 
Well, what would the, I mean, I, the one, two, and five, I don't think depended on that. I think the only thing is this region sum line would start. So if I can show it using just the one, two, five. So and importantly, it would need to not have a zero in it because if I just put a zero in there, that doesn't really solve the problem of the eight, nine having to go here. But so can I use the digits three, four, six, seven, eight, nine? Can I use five of them? I don't know, there's only six. So three, four, six, seven, eight, nine is 37. No, so I can't have two Schrodinger cells unless one of them has a zero in it. So there might be a second Schrodinger cell and there might be a zero in here, but that's not changing the fact that this needs to have nine, eight, and two digits of sum to 10. In fact, yeah, nine, eight, three, four, six, seven, we already said those are just the, yeah. And we can't do it without eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, that's fine. So I, um, this explanation was a little sloppy, but it's still e even, but it still works even knowing what I know now about Schrodinger cells. This would still have to be an eight nine Schrodinger because I do need eight nine in here, even if I have two Schrodinger cells. Right, so ba basically the way to think about it is there are seven digits that could go in here. I need to get rid of three or two that are up to 10. Only way to add up to 10 of the digits I have left, either three, seven, or four, six, because one, two, five are gone. Or stick a zero in there extra. Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm really worried I would have to restart the whole, I mean, not restart, I'd have to like scrap it and do a new puzzle. Um, but I think that works. Okay, that, so the Christ is averted, but I still don't know what to do. Okay, maybe it's here. No, this is, this is wide open. I don't think it's this. This maybe, because now, Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. This could be seven, nine, three, eight. Maybe. Okay, could this be a Schrodinger cell? I think it could be, but I don't think it can be a Schrodinger five. If it's a Schrodinger five, this has to be four. This would have to be two, three. And then this would have to be zero, two, but that doesn't work. So this is a legit value less than five. It can't be a Schrodinger three. Maybe it's a zero four, Schrodinger four, but that is three. This has to be one, two. That works. I don't know. Um, this could extend over and take one or two. It could take another one or two and then over or over here. Um, this Nabner still seems like, okay, where does this Nabner now go? Maybe that's the right question because it doesn't go straight left. Oh, it could take a four. It could take a four right here. Um, in this, if it takes a four right here, it would need, 
this would need to take three Schrodinger cells. And I'm not sure it can do that. Yeah, there's no way for this to take three Schrodinger cells because somewhere along the line, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, okay, this is, this is, this is important, I think. This, this part of the line is gonna take the four because it, it can't take two, it can't take three Schrodinger cells because what would it do? I mean, if I go down, if I go down and take a Schrodinger cell here, to get a new Schrodinger cell to leave the box, but then I have to stay in the box in the next step, that's not gonna work. I could go here, but then I've gotta go, I mean, there's just no way to get into three different boxes, right? So if I draw all the possible extensions here that take all Schrodinger cells, right? I mean, this could do something like, well, no, it can't. But if I just focus on ways that I could possibly get um, get three uh, Schrodinger cells, right? There's just no line that's going to cover all three boxes because it'll visit three, three boxes only. So I have to visit both this box and this box, but there's no way to do that with, while going straight towards the wall. So I can only visit at most two Schrodinger cells on this side, which means I need to visit two Schrodinger cells on this side, which means I'm either doing this or I'm doing this. And if I do this, I cut off the blue line. So I'm actually doing that. And these are both Schrodinger cells. Yes, 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 yes. This is definitely what I'm supposed to be doing. That feels very good. Ah, oh, wrong color. This one. Okay. And then what? Um, what are these? These are just big. Right. Somewhere here I'm going to get a four and less big. All right. I don't think I can do much over here, but I mean, that was huge. Now, this is a real, a real Kropke pair that doesn't have 0, 1, 2, or 8 because I have a virtual 0, 1, 2 triple here. So this is either 3, 4, or 6. If it's 3, 6, that's also 3, 6. If it's 4, it's 2, or 8. So now, does the purple Ren band go here? I think the answer is no, because the only new thing here would be five. And I mean, forget it, there's nothing new there, right? So, and there's also nothing new there, because the three and four are taken. So if the Ren band goes here, it's gotta go up. Whereas if I go over, I could go to here. Um, okay, that, that felt really, I, yeah, that, that's a really good, that's a really, it's just wonderful setting from Viking Prime, uh, as I want to expect from him. Um, okay, but what is this digit? Because a lot of these are taken. So this is either, there's no way I can put a zero on here because this needs to be big. It's got to be 10 plus. My, my Schrodinger cells in the NABN are all going to be 10 plus, so that's why they have to be Schrodinger cells. Uh, so I could put a four on here, or a seven or a nine. So if I have four on here, we switch to odd, which is fine. That is totally possible. Whereas if it's, yeah, so it's kind of restricted either way. So either this is 16, right? There's no four, that's 16, in which case the Navners are just the even digits between zero and 16. Or I have a four in here with an odd digit. So I'm at 11 or 13, which means somewhere between eight, and either I get a late eight to 11 immediate jump, or I could be eight, 10, 13, or eight, 11, 13. But everything after that is gonna be odd digits. Now, I, Problem is I don't know which way it goes, but 
it is quite restrictive. And then this one, I think this could be one nine, I guess. Um, if this is one nine, that'd be two four zero. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I was trying to see if I can get rid of one here and at least, but I don't think I can. Okay. So now I've got 17 without Schrodinger cells. Maybe it's a little bit more tractable. And green doesn't go over there. I mean, green's stretch is huge. It's this hole. I guess I can't get to here, but um, it's this hole. This whole little region is where green could end up. Yellow. Okay, now yellow from this side also needs two Schrodinger cells. I can't get one from each of these. So it's going to get one. It's going to take the Schrodinger cell in this box and the Schrodinger cell from one of these boxes. And the problem is that doesn't mean where it goes is a Schrodinger cell, right? If this is going to connect to a four, which I hope it does, um, we're going to, we could do something like this, right? Or this, and still get two Schrodinger cells. Well, okay, hold on. I also need to get 17 without using both nine and seven. So one, zero and one can no longer be on, can no longer be here. Because with zero, I would need eight, nine, which doesn't work. One would need seven, nine, which doesn't work. Three would need 14, which is without an eight. So that'd be five, nine. That would work. Five would need, 12 would have to be three nine. Oh, so this gets the nine either way. That's really, so is this, is this a three, five, nine? Is this, does this have to be three, five, nine? Is that the only way it works? Suppose there's no nine on it. If there's no nine, it has to be seven, six, four, which it can't be. So there's a nine on it. Wow, so that is four, seven. Wow, so this is 13, 15, or 17. 13 would be 4, 9. Um, 15 would be 7, 8. And then 17 would be 8, 9. Any of those work? Okay, but that that's... So this is, this is a 3, 5, 9 triple, which is very strange to me. I don't know why I find it strange. Um, but that's huge. That means that the digits I have left over here are or the the values rather are four and the two odds that are that I've listed through here that aren't actually used between 13, 15, um, and 17. Okay, so that's not four. Oh, oh, oh so this is not three, four now. That's five, six, and that's a three. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. I need zero, two. So this has to take the five. It's got to take the five from here. But I could do I could do that any possible way. But what are the digits I've left? Zero, two, uh, one is somewhere. One is down here. That's not three, I guess. Um, and then nine is here somewhere. If I can get a nine at the end, like this goes up, it's gotta be five. Basically, it's gotta come here sometime. So actually this one doesn't work. So it's gotta get the five here somewhere and then somewhere else it's gonna get the nine. Okay.
wow, I was really not I, not expecting that to come into play right then for some reason, but then it did. Okay, what are these digits? These are 0, 2, 0, 2, 7, 8, 9. No, no, sorry, 0, 2, 8, 9. Um, I guess two has to go here. Uh, and then what? So five has to go here somewhere. Six has to go here somewhere. And then between zero and nine, whatever is not used. Oh no, there's a Schrodinger cell. Uh, so there should be one more cell that I know. Seven, it's got to go in here somewhere, and then either zero or nine. So there's a zero or nine here, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, because two has to go up here. Okay, if this is zero, that's two. We get a one nine pair, yeah, it doesn't it? It all just works. So the 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 Reading some line on this side is done. I just need to figure out what it's visiting. Can I do this over here? So um, this can't get a Schrodinger cell up here. It can't take a Schrodinger cell from this box because the Nabner needs it. It could take a Schrodinger cell from here. But that also means this doesn't go into this box because if it goes into this box, ooh, is that true? No, I could do eight, nine, eight, nine, I think. Um, except that then the Schrodinger cell in here would be too small. So it can't take the Schrodinger cell in this box. I was thinking, could it go straight in and take eight and nine? But then the highest this could be is, oh, it could be seven, six, 13. Yeah, well, that, that's okay. Hmm. Oh, but this can't be a Schrodinger eight, nine. No, so that doesn't, because the eight's missing. So that doesn't work. So to get here, you have to take at least, it has, it has to spend at least two, cells in this box to get to 17. And therefore, if it goes here, it can only it'd have to get 17 in one cell, which it can't do. So it, I can say that for sure, the blue line is going to stay over here in that box. So I need to figure out how to get to 17 in this box. I certainly can't just do 2, 3, 4. I can't take both of these cells. I don't. Can I do that? I don't think I can do that either. So I think I have to get down here somehow. But I think I could do it with a Schrodinger cell. I certainly could do it with lots of these digits. Um, let's see, the, the missing digit here is zero or nine. Yeah, I think there's lots. I think that's not the right thing to think about yet. Um, okay. Uh, if this, now I think if this is four, eight, that's seven, nine, which is a problem because it's 11. So, I, so this can't be eight. Uh, but two, four is fine. This could be seven, eight, or eight, nine. But this needs an even and an odd digit, because it's got to be a big odd. All the odds above 11. So 13, 15, 17 now need to be on my Nadmer line. So this is either four, two, or three, six. Is there a problem with either of those? Uh, we said this needs to this can't be four anymore so that's something that's so this three probably finishes this cage yeah, this has to be one two right can be zero three that's one two that's got to be a zero uh yeah there we go this is gonna do why didn't oops, why didn't that why didn't spend thing work on there that's interesting um this becomes three six uh this this needed zero or nine right yeah, this is two. This is one and nine. Our blue line does not go up here now. This is an eight, nine pair. 
Um, what is four, five, six, seven big enough? I wonder if I need to go up here. I mean, one eight, it would be so easy to just do this. Because that, oh, no, 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 one, eight, nine doesn't work. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. This now can't go up here, so we've got to go. Green's, green's reach has been limited to this area. Um, what are these digits? Zero, one, two, three. These are four. Five, seven, nine. And then these are four, no, zero, five, six, seven. Ah. Did I do five, six, seven is 18 for, no, it's too big. Ha, huh. okay, maybe, maybe I can figure out how to get 17 here because it's actually kind of hard. If I go up here and get a one, uh, the problem is I can go up here. Can I show that I need to go up there? That would be interesting. Problem is that I wouldn't know how, but. Um, hmm. This can't be a bare zero, but it could be a Schrodinger with a zero. Uh, interesting, so eight and nine are both in here. I'm gonna do a dangerous thing and pencil mark that here. Um, across boxes. Because now what I have here, there's no zero in here. There's eight, nine. There might be a zero in here in a Schrodinger cell. It doesn't matter. In here, I'm going to have for sure a Schrodinger cell. And between these two cells, I'll have three digits, eight, nine, and the 10 complement of six or seven. So eight, nine, three, four. That is the only thing that could possibly go in these cells. I'm just going to get rid of that corner bar, corner marked boxes, actually, which means six is going to go, <clears throat> excuse me, here. Man, I really hope this takes the four down here. Uh, sorry, I keep saying that and it's not going to happen. And then everyone's going to feel bad. Um, Uh, this probably takes a 17. Right, so one of these is a Schrodinger cell, but these aren't, which means uh, not the right color. I almost said it means, well, I certainly can't go, I certainly can't extend this to here. Uh, no, I think that means I can't do this anymore at all. Because if I go here, I need two more Schrodingers, and I can't get them from here. So that's not possible anymore. I've got to go down. I s and then I can't do this either. So actually, this does not go into this box either. So this gets the Schrodinger cell from this box and from this box. So I can't go over here either because then I can't get back. So my choices are limited a bit to this band for my Schrodinger cells. Um, but it does mean my two Schrodinger cells are going to be here. And so they're not these, which means this is not the zero. The zero is going to go in here, not necessarily with a Schrodinger cell, but maybe with a Schrodinger cell. Um, this could be a bear four. Wow. Okay. Um, ah, but one of these, one of, yeah, one of these is a Schrodinger. I, I knew that. One of these is a Schrodinger cell. And then I guess then this is not limited to this side. It could go over this way. But I can't I can't do this because I need to get the Schrodinger cell over here as well. And the Schrodinger over ah, the Schrodinger cell over here. Um, this can't be eight nine. But it needs to be odd. And it so two of seven, eight, nine are taken. So it can't be fifteen. Oh, it could be six nine. Yeah, this could be a 6, 9 Schrodinger cell, and this could be like 8, 4 or something. Um, uh, no, oh, I don't, 9, 4, I, I don't know how it works, but it, I think it works. This could be 15, 6, 9. It can't be, this one can't be 17, 8, 9, because I would break this. It's either 15 or 13. 
If it's 15, it's 6, 9, because 7, 8 breaks this. If it's 13, it takes whatever's not used here. Um, which is it down here somewhere. And then 4 or 6. That does seem fine. Uh, Uh, so it's a, uh, now I feel bad. It's definitely not going to be the four here. It's, it's not going to be a bare four on the Navner because I need the, sh wherever this touches, it's going to have to take the Schrodinger cell. Oh, and, but actually, so I made a mistake. Because I errantly did this, I said these can be Schrodinger, which is not true. Um, that I could do this if I take this Schrodinger cell and then extend to here as a Schrodinger cell, possibly. Oh no, but that doesn't work because it has to be odd. Wow. Uh, it could still extend here, but this would be the Schrodinger cell. So this is correct, but not, it's, it's a little more complicated than I made it, which is this can't be a Schrodinger cell on the Nav Navner because that has to be a large odd digit, which can't have. How? <laughs> it, can't, it can't be cut in half. Um, so this could be on the Nabner cell, but it would have to be these two as Schrodinger cells, and this as a non-Schrodinger cell. So either way, the Schrodinger cells are in this region, um, which actually means these are all not Schrodinger, which I did not do before, but could have. So the Schrodinger cell in here is either eight or nine, it could be an eight, nine pair, right? That's one possibility. The other is that it's eight, oh, it can't be eight, three, um, but it could be nine, four. So there's definitely an, oh, it was an eight and nine in here, but the Schrodinger cell has a nine and then the, an even digit. Eight, three is too small. Eleven's already used here. This is four nine seven eight eight nine. Oh, I know that this is four. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, Sven can't save me from uh, cage sums. Um, so now this is either fifteen or seventeen. So one of these is thirteen. The other one is the other of 15 or 17. This is 17. So it, this definitely has an eight in it. Uh, what do I need? I need a one somewhere, a three, and then whatever is missing from here. Three is gonna go over here. I do get an X-wing. Is that helpful? It's getting very cluttered on my grid. Three or four is gonna be in here. So these are from three, four, six, and seven. These aren't three. Could this be a six, seven pair? Probably. Um, uh, seven. So could this be low? Yeah, it could be three or four. Maybe just think about the Ren Ban. What is the Ren Ban gonna pick up right here? Could it, it could pick up an eight here if this is nine, four. Um, well, hold on. Now this is gonna take at least one high digit. I could take two high digits. I could, I could take, um, yeah, I could take, there's a couple ways this could take only one high digit. Either it could, oh no, this can't take a three anymore. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. That's helpful. 
Now green is more limited. I can change this to that. Um, so, but pink, the red band could still take two low digits, or sorry, a high and a low digit if it gets all the way to here. Um, where is this four going to get a two? I think is a good question. Because this cannot go into this box, because if it does, it's going to stop this. Oh, could we do that? Well, either way, twos are gone here, right? Um, there are no twos anywhere that the Ren band can reach. Because the Ren band definitely can't do all the, all the way to here, because that'll stop the Nabner line from reaching the grid, the edge of the grid. So four has to take the two here. And then I still need a one. Where is it going to get a one? Same problem over here. One is taken. So it's going to have to take the one from somewhere, one of these spots. Um, so my choices for this Ren band line are, it can go straight, it can't go straight down because uh, I can't have zero. And if I go straight down, I'm going to take zero and one. So it could take this and then go over, or it could go around and then to the edge. And wherever it touches the Wherever this, whichever of these is on the Ren band is the one. And then the other digit. So if the Ren band gets here, it's not one. So it's getting its one from, I mean, this is not one. So what do I need? I need one, five, seven, eight. This can't get the five up here. So I also have to take the five. So we're, now we're limited to these possibilities. And it's definitely going to take the five over here. So five and one get taken by the Ren band over here, which means seven and eight get taken over here somehow. Um, that'd be quite easy that which whatever thing the run band wouldn't touch uh so this is not nine because it's on the run band none of these have to be on the run band is the problem what do i need here still one could be Anywhere. I need one, three, and the missing seven or nine. Not seven. Could this be nine? If this is nine, we get seven, eight here. That's one, three. Um, one of these is a one. I don't know if that's helpful at all. I don't think it is. So the thing that this takes is the not Schrodinger. And it's a five. The other one will be a Schrodinger. We'll take two of four, seven, nine, whatever's left will be here. <sighs> this is hard for me, at least. Um, okay, these are not, these are not shorting ourselves. Maybe we can do something with this. What could this be? It could be literally anything. I think that's going to be an end game disambiguation. Okay. So whichever, I really, I feel like I should be able to do more than I can. I 
this goes over, this goes up, but that doesn't tell me anything because this could be low or it could be a high Schrodinger. But if it's a high Schrodinger, that's a Schrodinger, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, Yeah, I'm I'm just quite stuck here. Um I thought I had a vert I thought I had an X Wing here, but I don't. I don't at all have an X Wing. I don't think with this Navner again. Two I still need a four. So one of these digits is a four. Four. By itself. How does that work? Know how it works, because um, it doesn't tell. It doesn't really seem to interact much with you know, this Nabner, because this, this Nabner can literally just squiggle any old way. But there is a plane four here. It'd be nice if it were over here. And that doesn't stop this from being four nine, unfortunately. If I give a four nine. Uh, why did I get rid of that? Oops. That was a mistake. Um, I could have four nine, bear four, Schrodinger, big digit. Is there any way the Schrodinger here doesn't have a nine? If it's here, it has a nine. If it's here, it's nine four, or nine eight. Um, but if it's here, it could be six seven or seven eight. Mm. It would be real shame to get this far and fail at the end. Um, Nine is definitely up here. Is that helpful? Don't think so. Uh, if pink goes here, it's seven or eight. I mean, eliminating pink from there is not going to help. So don't, I don't, I'm not even going to think about it. It doesn't matter. Uh, How would three be on here? That would be seven. Three would have to be by itself with an eight, nine Schrodinger. That seems, that seems hard actually. Um, it would have to be this, this can't be a three. That's a little something. This can't be a three because if this is a three, it can't be paired with a Schrodinger with a. It can't be the Schrodinger cell because it will be too small. Uh, it has to be at least thirteen. So this become an eight nine Schrodinger cell, which would break this. So that's not a three. Doesn't work the other way. Um, and it doesn't work with four here, because four could be the Schrodinger cell on this side. It could be four nine. Um, 
three, four, six, and something. Okay, what happens if this is my Schrodinger cell? And these are my Schrodinger cells. This becomes four, nine. This becomes, it could be six, nine. And it can't be eight nine. So if this is the Schrodinger cell, it's six nine. Is that true of all? This could be four nine. This would have to be six nine. Why couldn't this be four nine? Did I just make that up? No, because this would have to be four nine. So this would be six nine. Does that break something? Four nine, six nine, eight. Three. I don't see any problem with any of that. Um, zero has to be in one of these. Not so helpful. And the interesting thing about this box, which I've not thought about at all, there's just some. Mm, okay. Oh, this is an eight two pair. That might be um, two eight one nine. So this is a five. Ah, there we go. That's something that gives me. So that tells me how the line goes. And this needed a whole nine. Wow, I can't believe, I mean, I can believe I missed Sudoku, but I uh, can't believe that it was so helpful. Um, still need a zero. One, two, three, four, maybe. Four, zero, four, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, nine. So six is over here, three is over here, and either four or seven. Four or seven, so nine. Um, hold on. Why did I? I think I'm wrong. Three and six are over here. Ah, I see. There's a, a, a showing ourselves really mess up the way I think about excluding digits um, in my head. Okay. Does that help? I feel like that should have helped me more actually. Now that I did that, uh, does that exclude this purple yet? Could this be seven or eight? Yeah, I don't see a problem with that. Okay, can this be three? If this is three, it's by itself. This becomes an eight nine Schrodinger. This becomes seven. This now becomes a four six seven triple. Ah, uh, 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 that's why. Sorry. Yeah, that's been that's been that was here before. If this is three, it's by itself, and this is the Schrodinger cell. But then, oh no, that, yeah, that's fine. Then the line just goes this way. Sorry, no, that's fine. No, that's okay. That's why I didn't see before, it's because it was fine. Um, and then I have to take, this would be eight, nine. I have to take six, nine, or four, nine. Well, 
No, this would have to be then 7, 8. Um, maybe I can get a complicated. Um, Sudoku con contradiction. If this is 8, 9, I need the 6, 9. Uh, sorry, this is the 8, 9. This becomes 15, because it can't be 17 anymore from the Nabner line. And then this needs the 13, which can't be 5, 8. So that'd be 4, 7, sorry, 6, 7, or 4, 9. Not really helpful because <laughs> I don't know which way it would go. Um, but if this is seven eight, this becomes three nine. This becomes six seven. Six or seven. What is this? This could still be seven on the red van. I mean, we're so far in the weeds now. Oh no, this would be a six, seven pair. So if that's true, I would at least limit this red van over here. Uh, nine's over here, so nine's not there. That's a little something. I need a one over here. I need a two over here. And that's all I'm going to get. Um, huh. There's a three here, which cannot be on the Nabner. So there's going to be a non S cell. I'm sorry, it can't be on the Nabner, but it can't. No, it can't be on the Nabner. There's going to be hmm, a non S cell, non, sorry, yeah, non S cell, non S cell, non Nabner three in one of those spots. Does that matter? I don't see why it would. Um, well, this means this is not 36 anymore, I guess, which is something. If this goes here, that's a four, which would be, hold on, could let, there's no way. If this goes here, this is a four. This becomes six, seven. This would have to be a Navner. So it's either four, nine, or eight, nine. This would have a four, so this would be a bare eight. This would be four, nine. This would be a big Navner without eight in it. So uh, it would have to be either six, nine. It would have to be six, nine. Six, nine, seven, eight breaks this. I mean, it's. I'm going to do it just because it's such a little, like it doesn't help me at all, but I really don't like the aesthetics of that. So I'm gonna use that look ahead to get rid of that possibility. Um, does that get rid of this four altogether? So if this is four, if this is four, that means it gets its bare four from here. If there's a four anywhere on this, or anywhere on the, oh, hold on. If any of these are a four, where does this get its bare four? And then it's gonna be important that I can't be on the line. If any of these are a four, let's just start with this, because now I'm less sure about that. So I, I would have to redo it. Let's start with this, because that would still be pretty big. If this is a four, 
Oh no, that's that gives me two choices here. Um, does that mess? So my logic was, let's start down here. If this was a, if, let's say this, if that's a four, then this Nabner line needs a four on it, a just plain old non Schrodinger four. Where is it going to get it? The Schrodinger it touches here, the, the cell it touches here has to be a Schrodinger cell. It can't get it from any of these, so it'd have to be here. Okay, so this would be a plain four. And why did that break? And that means my Schrodinger's are either these two or these two. In my head, I, I broke something this way. So this could be the Schrodinger 8, 9. Um, leaving this to be a fair three. This would be eight, nine. This would be just a bare four. And this would be six, seven, or no, give me four. And this would be a six, seven Schrodinger. And I think that does work. Now I can't even remember what I thought the contradiction was. Six, seven, four, eight, nine. Or I could even do that Schrodinger. This is still a bare four. So the Schrodinger would be eight, nine over here. It still works. Four. This then becomes four, nine, or six, seven. Um, but if this is eight, nine, that's four. So this becomes a six. Ah, that one, maybe that's what I saw. Um, so this, hold on. Can this be a Schrodinger eight, nine? This can't be a Schrodinger eight, nine. If this is a Schrodinger eight, nine, that's a four. And that's a six. But then, and since this is eight, nine, this has to be 15. My Schrodinger 13 has to be here. But five, eight, nine, and sorry, five is gone, four is gone, and six is gone. So I have no way to make 13 in two cells. So this is not Schrodinger eight, nine. If it's Schrodinger, therefore, it's four, nine leaving this to be eight. And then I need a Schrodinger here, which can't have an eight in it. So it would have to be six, nine. But if it's six, nine, that's seven, which means I need a three here. So this is not Schrodinger. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know if that's intended, but I'm gonna use it because I'm, I'm gonna hear I'm, I'm, approach, I'm approaching, no, I'm over two hours. Um, Color, and then that means I definitely have a nine here. Could this be four nine? Four nine eight six. I think it's gonna be fine. Could this be eight nine? This is eight, nine, that's seven, eight. This has to be a relatively low Schrodinger. If this is eight, nine, this is three or four. But I would need, oh, I could get the four from here actually. Okay, now let's go back to this. What if one of these is a four? If one of these is a four, that means the Nabner gets its four from, uh, and actually, sorry, let me just clean up this, that none of these are relevant. If 
This is a four. That's an eight, nine, that's three, that's seven. I want to ignore this part actually, because I, I just I want it to be more general. If there's a four in here, the Nabner needs to get its four from over here. So we're in the, the Nabner will go like this. One of these will be a four, a bare four, which um, this is eight, nine. So that does mean this is three, seven either way, no matter how this shakes out, that's three, seven. The other one will be a Schrodinger cell. Since this is eight, nine, this is seven, eight, this has to be 13, but four is gone, five is gone. So it has to be a six, seven. I think that works. I think that works. Oof. Um, okay. All right. Let's try yeah, that. That's that should be enough. Um, what goes in here? Well, this is eight, nine, we get six, seven, four, three, zero. Oh, this is just three, there's no zero anywhere here. This is a, I don't know, five digits. This is a zero, three pair. Which means the Nabner does not get to here. So four is definitely here. So that's not a four, because the Nabner needs to pick up a four. And I can't touch a four, six. So, okay, so it's gonna touch a four, it's gonna touch a six Navner, which will either be with seven or nine. I feel like we're, we're closing in on this. Um, This could this could still be six nine four nine seven eight. These are no longer. This is not possibly eight in here. I haven't thought about this German whisper at all. Actually, um, this could just go eight two, or eight three, or whatever. So let's. Yeah, maybe that's not so helpful. I don't know why I'm drawing this. Uh, I just can't help myself. Okay. What? Zero, zero, zero. There's probably just some Sudoku. I'm. Ah, uh, eight, I get an eight X wing here. So there's definitely an eight here. So that's a three. Or it just says a, there's a bare three in the column. Um, that's because of the four, six, seven, there we go. That's an eight, nine. That's a four. Uh, this becomes seven, eight. This becomes zero. Seven. Four, nine. Um, no, okay. This can no longer be seven. Uh, this is definitely, so this is now six, seven. So this becomes eight, nine, seven. Um, this now, okay, green can't go up to four. The red band can go over to four or up to nine. So the red band is done. The German whisper is done. Uh, no, the red band's not done down here. They're done up here though. Um, so this is a four and a six, seven. What are these digits? These are, Zero six seven. This needs still a eight. Wow. Okay. So the ten is too small. 
for this to work. So this has the eight on it, but this could, and this can't be a three. So this is a Schrodinger cell. This is the Schrodinger cell. This is now nine. These are longer. Seven, three, nine. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna. This can't be four. This can't be eight. Uh, what about this? Can I do one, two, four, eight, six, seven? It's fine. It can't be two, three, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, one, two. It's fine. Oh, eight is gone from here. Uh, so now one, two is impossible here because I need a two on this. And that's going to clear up. Ah, I see, I see, I see. That's going to clear up a lot. Uh, this. The pink Ren Ben now does that. No, no, other way. The Ren Ben does this. Sorry, I'm just like. A little fried after two hours. Um, this is very exciting. Just having a hard time. Uh, this is a Schrodinger cell. I was like, oh my goodness, it's wrong, but this is the Schrodinger cell. Uh, that's the Schrodinger cell. That's the Schrodinger cell. So this is the six seven. This is a bare four which is this color. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe we're finishing this. Uh, I'm sure I made tons of mistakes that uh, Viking Prime will be too nice to tell me about. Uh, three, four, six. This is a three. Um, a nine. Three makes it seven. This six, which makes this one. That is just a two eight now. Uh, six seven is gone, so that's four. What's left here? Five six. Do I know the order? Uh, somehow not yet. How do I not know the order? How do I not know the order? Um, do I break it? All my lines are drawn. Oh no, I'm scared to hit the check mark and be told that I made mistakes somewhere like an hour and a half ago. Um, oh no. Oh, it's the region sum. It's the region sum. Okay, okay, I haven't done the region sum. How do I get to 17 from here? Um, and I have to stay in a box. Seven, seven can't go to three. Seven can't go to 11. Because seven, three is 10, and there's no more seven. So that doesn't work. Two would need 15, which doesn't work. One would need 16, which doesn't work. Uh-oh. Um, my, uh, does two eleven four? Yeah, two eleven four works. Wow. No, but that breaks. This can't be. This needs a zero in it. What did I do? I'm sure I broke it somewhere. Terrible. Oh, seven six four. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I feel like this is right. Okay. Is it because I took the zero? Is it because I did that? Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. I cannot believe that. That was a, that was bare. Um, yeah, I need to go. I need to go and just relieve my thoughts. But thank you for the puzzle. And if you managed to watch even half of this, you know, thank you too. Um, and I'll, I'll see y'all later.